Hi, I'm Christopher McGee. Welcome back to Health and Fitness The Truth. Me and my family are moving. I've got a bunch of boxes all over the place and I thought this would be a perfect time to illustrate the usefulness of what you try and teach your body to do in the gym. If I've got something that I drop on the floor and it's a lightweight thing, like this little magazine, if I bend over and round out my back, it's not the end of the world. I'm not too worried about making sure that I've got a perfect hip hinge mechanic and my shoulders back and down, and my core braced and everything. I'm not as worried about that if I'm picking up something light, right? But on moving day, we're picking up heavy things. We're picking up boxes full of books. We're picking up couches, refrigerators. Now suddenly it becomes really critical for your body to have been educated on how to move in good alignment, driving force through your appendages without damaging yourself, right? So let's look at this. We've got some boxes here. What if they were all on the floor, right? What these boxes, what if I have to pick everything up off the floor, which means I have to drop my weight to the floor somehow, and if I bend over and I pick up with a rounded back like this, with shoulders protracted forward, this is not gonna be good for my back, especially if I'm doing it with box after box after box after box all day. It would be so good for your body to learn to drop your hips, keep your torso upright, and what if this didn't have handles? I have to get even lower and I have these good hip hinge mechanics. I'm gonna come right here. And what is this? It's a deadlift. It's a deadlift. Look, you bring your feet as close to the bar as possible. They could be in or they could be wide. If this were the bar, I'd want my feet close to it, right? I want the bar as close to my center of gravity as I could. I would want to drop my weight with good hip hinge mechanics. I want my shoulders back and down as best I can. I want my core braced. I don't want my shins super far forward over my toes. I can do this all day, and sure my muscles will get sore and tired and fatigued or whatever, but I'm far less likely to throw out my back. What if I have to pick up a really heavy load? Now let's just throw two boxes on here. And a lot of what you learn in lifting, you're trying to keep things slow and controlled, right? With weightlifting. But in, in some of the lifts that I've shown, like the Olympic lifts, like the clean or the snatch, I haven't done snatch yet, but it'll get up there. Those are movements where you start in a position of stability, you're throwing something, and you end up in a position of instability, and then you try to regain your stability. What if I'm dropping down here? What if a kid jumps on my back while I'm trying to pick this up? I, I need to learn how to brace my core against possibly unsuspected forces or I'm at greater risk of injury. And if I can, I need to learn to keep things in good alignment through positions of lower amounts of stability. And this is the basic application for why you would want to practice weightlifting, especially some of the classic barbell lifts that we've been going over, like deadlifts. These hip hinge mechanics are critical. All right guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's helpful. If you did find that helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend you think might be moving or should learn how to lift. And if you have friends who lift, show them this channel as well. Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date. This was a, a bit of a fluke, a different video, but we'll all get right back into creating that database of all different kinds of exercises for you. Don't forget, you can find me on Instagram at healthfitnesstruth. Sometimes I post full workouts and sometimes I post just one workout or one exercise and try to give a lot of good education on one thing at a time. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh -huh.